I'm ready for all the glitz and glam of Hollywood. Hey everybody, Dana Leslie back for another Disney Dining Review. All right, so today we are going to Hollywood Studios and we are going to the Hollywood Brown Derby and I am so excited for this restaurant. We used to come to this restaurant all the time when we would come down from Oklahoma and get the deluxe dining plan because it was two table service credits. So we felt like that was a good way to use two credits. Um, and I haven't been in years, so I'm, I'm very much years. looking forward to going back. Um, the thing that sticks in my mind is one of the things that they're famous for. It is the Cobb salad. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna keep an open mind. I may get something else, but right now, I haven't even looked at the menu yet, but right now, I'm looking forward to that cop salad. I've looked at the menu and I have no idea what I'm gonna get oh. because I'm hungry and there's a lot of things that look really, really good. Well, what do they got? Well, so they have everything from, I mean, for um, appetizers, you can get an heirloom, heirloom tomato and burrata salad, which you know I love. Um, you can also get like roasted bone marrow or escargot if you wanted to go that route or corn bisque. And then for entrees, they've got everything from filet mignon to chicken and dumplings. I mean. Sounds Who doesn't good. like a good dumpling? <laughs> um, the famous Cobb salad, which is actually on the menu as our famous Cobb salad. <laughs> um, you can get some, a seafood dish, a shepherd's pie, which I also love shepherd's pie. Ooh, there is a seafood chiapino. Yes, and so. or a lamb shank. So, I mean, just, who do you pick? I don't know. What about drinks? Do they have any oh. famous Cobb salad drinks? God drinks that sounds disgusting they don't have their specialty cocktails on the list they do have um, on the online menu um, they do have some after dinner drinks uh, like a grapefruit cake martini and stuff like that specialty wines yeah so I don't I don't really know exactly but I'm sure that they have specialty drinks because they, they have, have a bar cocktails. outside yeah, yeah, there's a there's a Brown Derby Lounge that you can go out there and get small bites and drinks out there. Don't need a reservation for that. You definitely need a reservation for the uh, the main dining room, which is where we're going today. And we are, we gotta go. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do this. We have arrived. Um, one thing I know that I immediately like about this restaurant is that there's carpet on the floor. There are, um, it, it, it is spaced out a little bit, so you're not right on top of each other. To be fair, it is four o'clock in the afternoon, so there's not a ton of people in here, um, but you can actually hear yourself think. Yeah, I mean, there is like some occasional uh, loudness, but it's, there's like a, a crying baby and that kind of thing. But I mean, that's how it's you Disney. get anywhere, I mean, like, right? Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, no, that's that's nice. And I do love, I love all of the like, um, what do you call those drawings? Uh, caricatures? Uh, caricatures that are all over the walls uh, of famous people that are just, I mean, it, it hits you as soon as you enter. I mean, you walk through this like long, you know, covered walkway and it yeah. just feels very elegant and Hollywood. And um, So that goes back to the original Brown Derby, right, yeah, in California? Yeah. And on Hollywood. the back of your menu, you have uh, the whole story, which, by the way, did you know that the Cobb salad was invented when owner Rob Cobb raided the refrigerator seeking a midnight snack for theater magnate Sid Grohl. Rob Cobb, thank you very much. <laughs> so we did get our beverages. I got the, they did have a significant list of uh, cocktails, which we figured they would. Um, I got the old fashioned. Um, I've, I've tried it already. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. It's, Got multiple ice cubes in there, and it's not like super well balanced. Um, all I'm really getting is bourbon. So, do you want to try it? Sure. It's all just, bourbon. Just all bourbon. All like, bourbon. No sweetness, no bitters, just bourbon. <laughs> I got the Derby cocktail, which is very bright. Um, it comes with a little glow cube in it, but it has Gentleman Jack, 
uh, pink grapefruit juice and um, what's the other thing? Honey. Honey and Florida honey. And it's it's okay. Like it's pretty good. Like I wouldn't say it's my favorite cocktail I've ever had. Um, but I mean, it's a nice like combination of the different flavors. Ironically, the um, old fashioned esque cocktail over at the Indiana Jones pop-up lounge is a lot better, go figure, I don't know. And it's got one large ice cube, I don't, I don't understand. It's so weird. I will digress for now. We did just get uh, bread for the table. Free. Um, free bread for the table, this is amazing. So, shovely, and butter. Oh, and there's salt on the butter, which is nice. Warm dinner rolls, I like that. And we did just order the Crab Louie for an appetizer. Yeah, actually we were eyeballing that um, and we asked which was his favorite and he happened to say the cr Crab Louie, so yeah, perfect, let's get that. Mm. The bread is really good, it's, it's simple. I was just gonna say it's simple, but it's well done. Yeah, and I love the, the addition of the salt on top of the butter, it's like it, it, it makes elevates it, it yeah. right? It makes it, yeah. All right, so our Crab Louie came and it looks Quite spectacular. It was presented very well, like with the little crown mm -hmm. on the bottom and then some avocado with two pieces of this olive bread, this like crispy olive bread with like arugula on top. I get a little unexpected like lemony flavor. It's super fresh and refreshing. Um, that cold crab, lump crab, very, very good. The avocado is super fresh. The arugula is obviously fresh as well, but all the flavors together combine pretty nicely, actually. You get a little bit of salt from the olives. Um, yeah, a uh, little bit of, of citrus from the whatever they put on the seafoods. It's good. Yeah, I really, really like this a lot. It's, 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 it's nice. It's like it's, all the flavors combined together is really good. I got the shepherd's pie, which is actually vegan, and it's made with like lentils and garlic mashed potatoes and a carrot romesco. A carrot romesco. It yes. looks fantastic. And chickpeas. So I am quite excited about this. I love shepherd's pie. They gave me a lot of mushrooms, which I love mushrooms. So, oh, those flavors are fantastic. Mm. If you are, if you're someone who likes lentils, I think you definitely have to like lentils to like this dish, but it is phenomenal. The flavors all mixed together, and just the, the kind of overall as, it's weird to call shepherd's pie like light, but it, there's like a lightness about it. It's funny, like oftentimes vegan dishes will be so much more flavorful than just your normal like meat and potatoes dishes. We don't get them all the time, but I always love them when I get them. Yeah. So that's fantastic. Totally Absolutely. Good. If even if you're like, I mean, that's wonderful. I did get the Cobb salad. It's um, if you've listened to our recent podcast, the unit of measure is Leslie's head here, so or Leslie's face. Um, <laughs> see, Matt. Um, it looks great. It has got um, it has got obviously greens. It has got blue cheese, bacon, turkey, uh, tomatoes. What else we got in here? Eggs, avocado, um, and then I'm not sure what the dressing is. Does the menu say what the dressing is? Um, I can tell you. But there's so many toppings on this thing, and they will mix it up for you. They did offer to mix Classic it up for me. Classic dressing. What? what does that mean? Classic dressing. What I like about that is that everything is so finely chopped mm. that you can get like tons of flavors in just one very small bite. I agree. Like you can get every topping in every bite. The dressing is—it's definitely not like a standard. What? Do you, what is that dressing? I don't know. It's good. Can't place my finger on it. It's not a ranch. Um, it's almost like a vinaigrette, maybe? I don't know. All right, so that is gonna do it for the brown derby. I am pretty impressed. Yeah, the food was fantastic, but we're gonna talk all about that at home. All right, we are back. Before we get into Hollywood Brown Derby and all of our thoughts. If you are wanting to plan your next magical vacation, please reach out to us over at Fantastical Vacations. We plan Disney destinations, cruise lines, universal and all-inclusive resorts. I kind of almost knocked over the tripod. Yeah, did you? <laughs> did your heart stop just for a minute? Like, uh. <laughs> this one was actually pretty good, save for the drinks. So let's just dive right in. Yes. Okay, so ambiance and theming. I mean, you really feel like you are kind of in this like, California, Hollywood, upscale-ish type place. I mean, yeah. it, they, they did it well. 
Yeah, I mean, it's uh, modeled after the Brown Derby in Hollywood, right? So um, from all the caricatures on the walls to the decor to everything, it's done really, really well. It hits the nail on the head. It is not somewhere where you're going to have a great view or see fireworks or anything like that, but they hit exactly what they were meaning to do. Side note, if you are a Club 33 member, the Club 33 lounge for Hollywood Studios is right upstairs above yes. the Brown Derby or kind of like off to the side. We anyway, saw the elevator. We did see the elevator. Later. <laughs> we were not allowed up. <laughs> anyway, so um, I also appreciate that the tables are not too close together. We were in a booth. They have booths all over the perimeter um, on the upper level and the lower level, which is lovely. Uh, there are soft goods, so there's carpeting on mm -hmm. the floor, which absorbs a lot of the sound. Yeah. So um, I'm sure it can get a little bit loud in there, but not anything like some of the other restaurants that we have reviewed. So ambiance and theming, it's, it's good. Yeah, so we gave it a four. Service. We are going to um, give our server the benefit of the doubt so he did pretty good um he took our drink order and we asked for uh waters to go along with the drinks he waited until the drinks were completely made before he brought us our water so we did have to wait probably i don't know seven or eight minutes before he even got water so that was a little bit of a rough start but uh from then on out he did pretty well yeah so i i appreciated the um story on the back of the menu um i would have liked it if someone in the the restaurant would have giving me a little bit of that, giving me a little bit of the background, whether it was a person sitting us or the server, somebody just kind of telling me like, hey, because not everybody turns their menu over and reads the story on the back. That's true. He did um, give us free bread, positive. That was warm. That was warm and wonderful. And he um, gave us a refill on that free bread, which was much appreciated. Which he gave us- probably why I'm so full right now. <laughs> he gave us his opinions on things. Um, but yeah, I mean, with the with you know, kind of a slow start and um, and and not really going into any backstory, we couldn't rate them too high, so we settled on a three and a half. Yep. So drinks. You know, I was rough, actually man, rough. very surprised about this <sighs> because, was... you know, I actually was going into this thinking and. It, well, I was surprised that there weren't any drinks on their online menu. And then whenever we sat down and they had like this whole list of specialty cocktails. And I mean, I was, I really struggled to even decide which one I wanted because they all, several of them looked very, very good. And mine was okay. I mean, just probably straight up average. Yours was below average. Mine was not good. I mean, um, it was like straight bourbon. It was just not good. Yeah, if I wanted bourbon on the rocks, I would have ordered bourbon on the rocks. I ordered the old, the the old fashioned that was on their menu. They have a Brown Derby lounge. They also have a full service bar that is like front and center in this restaurant. So I feel like they should have some really well done classic cocktails yeah. being modeled off a 1940s restaurant that catered to movie stars in the 1940s. Like, I feel like you should have your uh, classic cocktail game down pat and they just didn't. Like my old fashioned, it had cubed ice, a lot of it in there. Um, it wasn't well balanced. Uh, before I finished drinking it, all the ice melted like it does when you use cubed or crushed ice. Um, yeah. I was not I was not pleased with the $18 and I think 50 cent old fashioned that I got. Um, that's all I can really say about that. Yeah, so it was a little bit of a disappointment as far as drinks go. And you know, um, before, I don't know if anybody ever wonders, but when we're asked at the table if we like our drinks, we don't complain because I, you know, we just drink them, it's fine, but I'm not going to send it back to get something different necessarily. Um, I would if it was like improperly cooked food or, um, you know, something that I didn't ask for or whatnot, or if it was just truly disgusting, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't disgusting. I mean, it, it just right. wasn't a great cocktail. But it, it just wasn't like, I will not be going back here for the drinks. That's oh, no. for sure. No, well, and even like just because it wasn't well crafted, like I'm not going to send that back because I mean that kind of defeats the point, right? Like I yeah. order an old fashioned to get their take on the old fashioned, and if you don't do it well, you don't do it well. Um, so I'm not going to like send it back and like expli explicitly give them instructions on how to do it. But when a pop up Indiana Jones bar <laughs> that just gets thrown together, like I mean that has a better old fashioned than the Hollywood Brown Derby. Like that's a problem. Like, yeah. I don't know. And I don't understand. the pop-up bar has the single ice cube. It has one, it has, yeah, it has one large ice cube and the actual cocktail is um, better balanced yeah. and it just tastes much so better. Weird. So it's, it's, it's bizarre. All that to say, I gave mine a two, you gave yours. I said straight up average three. 
So we went with the two and a half. And yours was probably being a little generous. It probably was. Two and a half. Food was the winner here. Yes. I mean, from the very simple but warm bread that came out with the butter, with the salt on top of it, mm -hmm. to the Crab Louie um, appetizer was phenomenal and so well balanced on all of its flavors that it had going on, to our dishes. I mean, I got the vegan shepherd's pie and it was fantastic. Yours was better than mine. Like I'm a little bit upset about this <laughs> because I've been looking forward to getting that cob salad ever since we um, have been doing these dining reviews. I knew I was going to get the cob salad, and I went with an open mind. But turned, you know, I didn't see anything else that beat out the cob salad, um, and it was good. It was a, it was a great cob salad. But man, yours was fantastic. It like, was, that was so good. It was really it was good. Good. Like I, I'm not, I'm not vegan. We do get vegetarian and vegan dishes occasionally. But if I go back here, I'm probably getting that vegan. Yeah. Dish. It, it was um, good. I'm very full though. I'm very full. It probably <laughs> has something to do with the three dinner rolls I ate, but yeah. two and a half. Two Dude. and a half dinner rolls. No, three and a half. Oh, three and a half <laughs> dinner rolls. <laughs> <laughs> trying to block one of them out. <laughs> Ooh. Food, we gave a four and a half because it really was, I mean, there was seriously just, everything was just very well Very, prepared. very good. So if you add all that up and divide by four, it comes to a 3.625 out of five. I think that's pretty much dead on for this restaurant, for our experience tonight. It does not rise to the standard of a 4.0, which that is like, we will, we must go back where this is on our, uh, usual rotation, um, but it's it's getting up there. Like it's yeah. it's definitely a solid option. Ironically, this meal was always a two table service credit yes. uh, meal on the Disney Dining Plan, and I'm sure it probably will be again next year when I, it launches. Yeah, I I'll be interested. But this paying a la carte, ordering a la carte, and paying out of pocket was cheaper than a lot of the meals that we have had. We did get a, uh, I believe it was 10% discount for mm -hmm. being on the food. An annual pass holders on the food, food alone. But we got one entree, I'm sorry, we got one appetizer, two entrees and two adult beverages and out the door with a good tip was, and tax and everything, $125. Yeah. That's pretty, not bad for That's a Disney good. restaurant. And so it's interesting. I will, I'm curious to know if they do bring it back as a signature dining experience, because I'm not sure that it would be worth the two table service credits if they Unless did. Unless you get like the steak, the most expensive thing on the menu. Sure. I think the Chiapino was 50 bucks or yeah. close, somewhere in yeah. there. I think um, both of our meals were relatively inexpensive. So that they were fabulous. Why, I would get those so again. Yeah. Like, yeah. So. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of blown away by the quality of the food and the cost. Yes. All right. If you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. And we will see you on the next video.